uplift every part of you. Appreciate yourself. Flowers, for instance, can die overnight if they are not properly groomed and upkept. It needs water daily, like we do. It needs to bathe daily, like we do. And the same goes for upkeeping yourself and how everything around you needs to be upkept, especially if and when it belongs to you. So if flowers can die overnight from not being put in water. Just imagine the correlation between your body and meditation and prayer. That live plant can die in 24 hours if you don't nurture it and speak life into it. Imagine how your body feels going without prayer, love, and being uplifted in just 24 hours. Dead. And then we allow it to go days, weeks, maybe even months or years like that. Food to the body is like prayer to the soul. You know how your body feels malnutrition? And you get real hungry if you don't eat? That's how your soul feels when you don't meditate or pray and you can feel it, you just don't pay attention to it. And it shows in your mood swings, in your decision making, in your verbiage, in your actions. You can feel it, it's noticeable. It does affect your body, your soul, and your realm when you do not cleanse, meditate, or pray. It does affect your relationships. It does affect your level of communication. So when you notice your mood swings are off or your communication is just not right, step aside and take the time to meditate, pray, uplift yourself. Take the time to nurture yourself to health. Cleanse, heal yourself, restore yourself. Bring yourself clarity and peace. The answers will come. The answers will come. Give it a chance to. So I wanna share this. One day, I was acknowledging my body. What happened to my music? Excuse me guys, but the rain is bothering my Wi-Fi connection, so there will be no music moving forward for the rest of this video. It is literally pouring out there, so no music, but I will continue. Just as I was about to continue without it, it comes back. All right, let's continue. So I wanted to share this. That one day I was acknowledging my body. Just paying attention to it. Looking at all the scars on my body. Looking at any marks on my body or noticing how any body parts feels because each body part goes through different things on a daily basis. The arms and the legs do different things. They each go through different things on a daily basis. So I was just acknowledging my body one day. And I was looking at my hands first. I don't know why. Started off with my left hand and my index finger had a burn mark on it. And I stared at it. I understood its pain. I started remembering where it came from and how it happened was in control of it, how it made me feel. Then I kissed it and I apologized to it several times. Okay. I say that to say, acknowledge each and every part of your body, every scar on your body, rub over it. Remember where it came from. Remember how it felt when you felt when you got it. Notice how it feels this current day understand it, understand its pain, understand where it came from and why. And now once you have acknowledged it, questioned it, listened to it, 
and understood it, you may now console it, nurture it, heal it, and uplift it. Repair it with your attention, intention, and love. But how can you take care of what you don't know of or understand? Understand it first. And how can you understand something you don't know exists? You must first acknowledge it, first and foremost. After noticing and acknowledging, understanding has two parts. Questioning and listening. Understanding has two parts. You must inquire and you must also be willing and able to receive the information that you are requesting. So start off asking questions, but then sit quietly and listen for your answers. How to appreciate oneself. Remember, we are discussing self-appreciation. So I was showing just acknowledging your body, questioning it, understanding it, um, feeling for it, consoling it, nurturing it back to health and uplifting it. We are appreciating oneself. Gratitude holds a high vibrational frequency. Gratitude is just being thankful. Sometimes it's hard to revisit the pain and sometimes people don't know where to start or just don't want to. So if it's hard to revisit the pain, begin with just being thankful. Or once you've revisited the pain and grown from that, now continue to be thankful. Gratitude holds a high vibrational frequency. One morning last year, I woke up crying and sad. So I began to cleanse. And I remember that day, not sure why I woke up crying or sad, but I did not, I felt heavy, I did not feel good, I felt sad. So I began to cleanse my crystals, beads, body, and home with water, sage, and uplifting words. Then I put on my crystals and beads and became so thankful. And as I was simply thanking, I began to draw closer to the mirror and I looked myself in the mirror and thanked myself so many times that I started thinking of reasons to thank myself for and why. So I started off just looking and saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then I started looking for reasons to be thankful. Hmm. I'm thankful for your beautiful hair. I'm thankful for your beautiful smile. I'm thankful for my beautiful nose. I am thankful for my beautiful heart. And then I thought, why? I am thankful for my beautiful heart that I am able to give, that I am able to love, that I am able to still receive and allow. And it was so much to be thankful for. Just being thankful for every little thing. That was just pieces of my face. Imagine every part of my body, everything in my home, everything that I have ever experienced or owned. That's so much to be thankful for. So I thank myself so many times until I began to find reasons to thank myself. And it helped me release some things. I've heard people say to do this before, but it sounded so silly, so cliche until I did it willingly. I didn't force myself. It came to me and it came through me. It came to me, through me, and out of me because it was inside of me. But I said, thank you and thank you. And as I stared into my own eyes in the mirror, it felt so good. It made me smile. It felt like it made up for all the times that people weren't appreciative or that people didn't thank me. It made up for all those times. And it felt so much better coming from me. I said it to me for them. And I know it sounds corny, but you make yourself feel better than anyone else ever can just don't know it until you start building that relationship with yourself and, and literally looking yourself in the mirror. I know that sounds silly. Literally looking yourself in the mirror and talking to yourself. Staring at yourself in the mirror and uplifting yourself. So as I'm thinking myself 
at first, remember, I was just thankful for no reason, like, just because. Then I started thinking of reasons for and why. Like, thank you for all the bad situations you've ever put up with. For now, we know what not to deal with and what not to settle for ever again. For what not to engage in ever again. Thank you for all the good situations you've put us in, Davina. For you've helped us grow and we've had so much fun and we've made use of great opportunities. Thank you for all the bad foods you've eaten. We got to enjoy some good meals together. I'm thankful for tastes and flavors. Thank you for all the good food that you've eaten, for everything that you've ever done to try to be healthy and for thinking about changing your eating habits. There's so much bad around. You could have chosen to never eat anything good for yourself or that's good for you. So thank you. I need you to appreciate every aspect of you. The good, the bad, the pretty, the ugly, the light, the dark, the pure, the evil. Appreciate every aspect of you. Don't cast out any parts. Understand and nurture every part of you. The good and the bad, the pure and the evil, the light and the dark, it makes you whole. Do not cast out any parts of you. Understand it, accept it, love it, heal it. Pour more love and attention into yourself. Give yourself the utmost everything. Love, respect, honesty, trust, loyalty. Before you give it away to anyone else, give it to yourself so that yourself knows that it can trust you, that you love you, that you respect you, and that also that you understand you. That will also help you understand that people and things come and they go at their free will. And whether they are here or not, you are still filled with those things because you give them to yourself. They didn't take it with them if they go. You don't feel at a loss because you already had it in you and you still do. Let your cup already be filled and overflowing. Do not sit with an empty or half-filled cup waiting to be filled because when or if they do, Come, and then they go, you are empty again. I say, even when you are filled, keep going, overflow. Be overflowed, be fulfilled. Love every part of you. Don't cast out any parts. Love the pain away. Love every part of you until it is all healed, and then love it some more. Nurture it, console it, understand where it's coming from. Be there for yourself because your body is there for you on a daily basis. Be delicate with yourself. How you treat yourself is how you will treat others. Know yourself, love yourself. So much so that no matter who or what comes or goes, remember your cup still overflows. I love you guys. Appreciate yourselves. Self appreciation. Appreciate yourselves. I love you. You should love you too. I see your minds. Peace to you all.